I've been a woodsman all my life, almost 50 years now, and in that time I've learned quite a lot, and I'll show you some of it. Now, the first thing is whether it, what tool you're going to use, and this is pretty much the standard. This is a big old axe, five and a half pounds. Now, the critical thing with an axe is if you're going to fell trees, razor sharp. If you're going to split wood, as blunt as you can make it. And not many people seem to know that. And then my preferred tool is this one. This is a splitting mall. It looks like an axe until you look at it that way. And it really is a very heavy solid wedge on the end of the handle. But this is the key thing. That is blunt, that will not get jammed in a log and it'll split wood beautifully. Now the last thing is your chopping block. So let's look at that. This has been my block for a few years now. And it's a beauty. It, it has all the things, it's tough. It's got these big old knots in it, making it really strong. It's also heavy, this is oak, and it's wide enough to be stable. And the last thing, something I really like, is I always make sure it's got a slight slope. And the reason for that is, occasionally you get a log that's been cut, sloping, and it won't balance on a flat block. But that one, if we twist it round, will stand perfectly. So now let's chop some wood. The first thing is picking up the axe. Don't stoop down to do it. The easy way is this. Zigzag that hand across the body and the head just jumps into this hand. So that's it. It's, it's real easy. Across, back and the head jumps up here. You don't stoop and there's no effort in that. Okay, the first thing when chopping wood is your stance. Make sure your feet are clear. You don't want to chop over and trip over anything when you're in the middle of it. The next thing is measure. Make sure that that axe is going to hit the block every time. Oh, and actually, to improve that, pick up a chip or something, put something on the log, and then just try and hit it. Get your accuracy up. Right, let's split a log. It's a little bit like golf, really. You're taking up a position and then using an accurate swing to hit it. And the other thing you might see there is uh, it's not a bad thing. Just to start with, to bend your knees a bit as the axe comes down, it stops it swinging into your leg, which is nice. The last thing is the hands, really. Start with your hands apart, and as it comes down, your hands end up together. Now, this hand has got the strong grip. This hand is guiding. As it comes down, it's guiding the axe and keeping your accuracy. I really like chopping wood. That is satisfying. So keep me warm. There's obviously much more to wood fires and the book covers everything from the trees through chopping it, storing it, even how to lay the perfect fire. And if you're going to have a life with wood fires, I hope you enjoy my book.